Hamlin County District Attorney Cody Womp released some body camera photos in relation to a deadly shooting of a Chattanooga teenager. News 12's Nick Hill is live as questions remain about how this event unfolded. Nick. David Mendes Lopez was a 17 year old student at Howard High School who was at his family's home the night of September 2nd. After a call came in about a domestic dispute, the ensuing confrontation between Lopez and Chattanooga police turned deadly as he was shot and killed early on September 3rd. Today, we're getting our first look at four different images as well as hearing parts of a 911 call the DA's office says came from Lopez's girlfriend. What's going on? My boyfriend is armed and he's trying to get me. Please, oh please, me. Where are we at now? He's outside with my car. He's trying to take off with my car. Things continued to escalate as Lopez came back to the home. Other people present at the home are asking for help too. We need a hat, please. He's you don't know, now. I can hear him. Chattanooga police shortly thereafter would respond to the residents, and DA Womp's office says a standoff ensues. They say the first three images come from the body camera of Chattanooga police officer Michael Morales at 11:39 p.m. that night. In these images, someone, identified as Lopez by the DA's office, is seen standing in an adjacent doorway to Officer Morales. In all three images, an object being held by Lopez is circled. The DA's office says that it is a pistol with a laser. At this point in the confrontation, the DA's office says police had to call in a negotiator and over the following 45 minutes, they say they attempted to de-escalate the situation by getting Lopez to surrender. During this time, the DA's office says Lopez called his uncle and reportedly told him that he wanted police to kill him. In a fourth and final image taken at 12.26 a.m. from Chattanooga Police Officer Christian Burgesson's body camera, a laser beam is circled coming from an upstairs window. DA Womp says his beam comes from a pistol and was aimed at an officer watching the backyard of the house. She describes that officers tried to get Lopez to surrender and that he refused, and then produced the gun. That's when officers responded with shots. In a release two weeks ago for activist group Concerned Citizens for Justice, the family stated that Lopez had a cell phone in his hand and was suffering through a mental health crisis. They also had stated that Lopez was killed in the laundry room and not in the back of the house. The DA's office says, quote, any assertion or statement that David Mendez was unarmed when he was shot by officers are categorically false, end quote. We have reached out to that organization representing Lopez's family for comment on today's release, but have not heard back. Additionally, District Attorney Womp says she does not plan to further comment on this incident. Reporting live, Nick Hill, News 12.